Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This uh, this video is outside the medicine. Continue to read some. I'll finish some 118 and start some 119. Uh, some 119 collected, uh, uh, I think 22 short sums. So I probably uh, read two each time. So I'm going to start to read it. Some 119. Uh, I love number one. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him, seek him with all their heart. They do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steady fast. In obeying your decrees, then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart, and I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. Beth, which means number two. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me astray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. So this is the Psalm 119, the first and the second. Um, in general, I think the tone is quite similar. Uh, the first one saying um, how great uh, the Lord will treat those who walk according to the law of the Lord. And, uh, and the Number two, talking about otherwise. I think it's uh, how to keep the, the teaching of the God, particularly for those young people. So uh, Aleph, A-L-E-P-H, that's uh, one. I think it's I guess, uh, but I will just confirm next time. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statute and seek him with all his heart. They do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. So this is saying, blessed are those who, uh, whose ways are blameless, walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statute and seek him with all their heart. So uh, blameless, this word I think is quite uh, complicated. The blameless is uh, in the in the sight of God, not people. Uh, I think nobody can be play, uh, blameless in um, uh, uh, among the people. I think uh, uh, everybody can find blames to each other. And that's the world actually basically for. Um, but this blameless referring to in the sight of the God they believe. And they will be blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all his heart. Um, other. So those people, the blameless, one of the blameless is seeking this belief all the time, the God they believe all the time. And they do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. They do nothing wrong. This nothing wrong is not, I think, uh, I, I, I think it's not narrowly explained as you're doing perfect in your daily life. It's just do nothing wrong in the sight of God. Um, you have laid down precepts there to be fully obeyed, or that uh, my ways are steady fast in obeying your decrees. So following the instructions of the God. And because this God is really invisible, nobody can see. It's not like the idols, you have the form. But this God is really uh, with the written decrees and also the invisible uh, instructions from the heart. So you have to follow those. Um, then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. So even though I got uh, blamed or feel shame uh, by the others, but I do not feel shame in your sight, in the sight of God, because I've, I have been following yours. This is, um, and I will praise you with an upright heart, and I learn, as I learn your righteous 
laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. So I will praise you. I will follow you, obey you, but and at the same time, do not please forsake me um, utterly. It's uh, saying uh, openly, loudly to forsake me. That was the Aleph, number one, Beth, number two. How can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your word? This is a, the this psalm opening with a question: How a young man living uh, keep his way pure by living according to your word, uh, according to the God's the word they believe? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart, and that I might not sin against you. So this is saying those young people really follow the command, and at the same time uh, ask, knowing the weakness may stray from the command, so keep it in your heart. Ask God, uh, keep watching uh, those young feet, not uh, stray from the commands. Praise be to you, O Lord, teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount. All the laws that come from your mouth. So this is uh, saying those young people um, um, praise the Lord to teach uh, me your decrees. And uh, with my lips, I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. So this is a uh, uh, craving, panting for this uh, decree from the God. I rejoice in following your statute as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. So from this psalm, um, uh, number two of 119, I say in the writer probably the young people. Uh, again, we do not know the writer. We do not know the time or circumstances. But from the tone of this number two, it uh, sounds like young people. How can a young man keep his way pure? And then uh, by living according to your word, and then saying, I, I, I. So this is uh, probably the author was young and asked, how can I be pure? So then I will seek your heart uh, with my heart. I will follow your decree. Uh, hidden your words in my heart. I will do everything uh, according to your instructions. So uh, saying this young, this young heart is humble. Following the instruction of God and keep the, the words from the God in, next to the heart. And also meditate and delight, uh, like a uh, love the decrees from the God. Uh, love the words from the God. Uh, uh, so this is some um, uh, number one and two uh, included in Psalm 119. From these two pieces, uh, we can see, um, I think it's very it's quite uh, positive, just uh, praise the God and also uh, with the faith, knowing whoever um, following the God's uh, instruction will be blessed. At the same time, kind of serving as instructions, otherwise for the young people, as example, uh, this is the young heart, how to keep this way pure, to follow the instructions from God. So uh, I'm going to stop here and uh, hope you can read, interpret in your own way. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.